Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I will be doing your monthly <laughs> money, wealth, finance, prosperity, and abundance reading for the month of July 2021. I hope you're having a good month so far. Uh, I know last month's reading was really, really powerful for you, Gemini, and uh, I have high expectations again for you for the month of July. Uh, I will be using my original tarot deck for the readings. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot as I always do. And then Gemini, I will close out your reading with the New Moon Intention Oracle card. It's a brand new Oracle deck that I got. It's very beautiful and I'm excited to share it with you. Um, if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do wanna say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and of course I would love to share your money message with you so let's go ahead and get right into it Gemini uh, a lot of you have been uh, having questions about um, I want to say a lot of you have been asking me about investments uh, not just Gemini but just everybody in general and I want to clarify that I don't necessarily do investment readings predictions uh, I don't do anything like that so um, I just want to throw that out there because I do get that question a lot people ask me specific questions about you know cryptocurrency the stock market the real estate market and that's not something I do publicly if you do book a private reading with me I would be more than happy to answer any specific questions you have especially you know regarding those things but I just want to let you know that I don't do that publicly um, I do that as a way to protect myself and I also do that to protect you because not everybody is in in a position to invest and I don't want people you know taking risks or unnecessary risks I should say uh, with anything so I just wanted to throw that out there because I have been getting a lot of questions about that but let's go ahead and get right into your reading, Gemini. So what do we need to know for the sign of Gemini? Whoa. Uh, as it relates to money, wealth, finances, and prosperity and abundance for the month of July 2021. Wow. Okay. So uh, I can't say... Gemini, that uh, you are really doing a lot of inner work, and it looks like your relationships are affecting you financially. Okay, now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, um, it's something that I think you're coming into awareness about. And so you're making some changes because you're noticing that some things are out of balance, things are not feeling quite right. And uh, when you finally do make these changes, uh, really, literally, the floodgates of wealth open up to you. Let's go ahead and start with the Three of Swords in the reverse. That is the healing card. That means emotional healing. That means emotional, uh, overcoming some emotional stuff that was really heavy on you and that really had an impact on your financial, you know, your financial stuff. Um, like I said, when I see that card in the reverse, that tells me that, you know, the hurt part, you've dealt with it, and now you're on the road to healing, overcoming, forgiving, letting go, and that's really putting you in a good place financially. We have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a very happy card. Uh, it's also known as the Wish card. Uh, it really means that your wishes are coming to fruition. Maybe they may not show up in their whole form right now, but it does mean that whatever you're wishing and hoping for is on the way, especially as it relates to money, career, investments, uh, anything that uh, contributes to your overall wealth. And it doesn't always have to be money. It could be, uh, you know, being rich with happiness, being rich with love, being rich with just feeling very, very uh, settled with where you are in life right now. Now here's temperance. This is where we get into things being a little off balance. Uh, like I said, I think you're already aware of this, Gemini. This is not anything new. This is not something that's just showing up suddenly. You do feel that something needs to change. Something needs to kind of be redirected, rearranged, uh, maybe 
uh, reworked in your life and you do take the steps to do that. Page of Swords, this is news and information about something being cut off, something being discontinued. I also see this as a conscious decision that you're making, Gemini. Um, this may not necessarily be something from outside. This could be something that you are implementing within yourself. Uh, looks like you make the decision to cut something off, cut someone off. And I say that because of what I'm seeing here. The two of cups in the reverse, this is a kind of moving away, kind of a separation. However, it's not anything ugly. It's just, you know, a relationship has run its course and it's time for you to go in a new direction. Doesn't mean that, you know, it wasn't lovely or it didn't, you know, uh, benefit you in some way. But you know, sometimes uh, as we move throughout our journey, as we move through life, uh, things just don't serve us anymore and it's time to make a new choice. And that looks like very clearly what you're doing. Uh, we also have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is another card of recognition, of being seen, of being acknowledged for the work and the contribution that you're making. I do feel like this is something related to your professional life. Looks like you do get some attention, you do get some recognition, Gemini, for uh, whatever it is that you do. You know, it's like uh, you are definitely being put in the spotlight because you are at the top of your game or you're doing something very creatively or in a very uh, ingenious way. Maybe you are a kind of a pioneer in your industry. Whatever it is, uh, you definitely get recognized for that and it does bring with it some new opportunities. <clears throat> Excuse me, that could be why uh, there's a divine separation, so to speak. It could also mean um, you know, that's kind of like the confirmation or the validation that you need to really do something different, to do something new, to do something. Um, I'm feeling like it's something that you know could be very, very profitable, but you've been hesitating on. But now you feel, you know, now that people are noticing, you're feeling, wow, this is something that I think I can really make work. I can really make it, you know, my full time thing. So that's very exciting. So you've got a really, really solid start to the month, Gemini. And uh, it looks like things definitely are going good. Things are going well. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Gemini as, as it relates to money, <laughs> money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of July 2021, looks like more good news is coming your way. I hope you're ready for it, Gemini. Good news as it relates to work or whatever it is that you're doing to bring money in, whether it's a business, even if it's, um, you know, a fixed income, unemployment, disability. Uh, it looks like you've got some good news as it relates to that. But let's go ahead and start with the Seven of Pentacles here in the reverse. Um, that tells me that there's, there's some dissatisfaction in the work that you're currently doing. Or, or with whatever it is, you know, where you're at. Uh, again, I think this is an awareness that you're already fully kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, this is an awareness that you're fully kind of embracing at this point, Gemini. Not that what you're doing isn't working, not that what you're doing isn't, you know, not paying the bills, but you're feeling like it's time to make a change. Um, I've been seeing this with all the signs in the readings this month. I think because, uh, especially for those of us who, it's like we've been hesitating, you know, doing something different. And it feels like now is the time uh, globally for us to kind of move into something different. And I think the energy of the pandemic has a lot to do with that. You know, a lot of us under understand that, you know, we could be on the verge of something huge because things are really starting to come back and, you know, cities are opening, businesses are starting to open back up, you know, people are, you know, expanding their options uh, professionally as well as personally. And I really feel like that energy is really kind of motivating so many of us to really do something different, something bigger, something better for ourselves. Now we also have the Hermit. The Hermit in the reverse is a card of not taking a step back, but really showing up fully, really, really 
um, kind of putting yourself out there, being proactive, really kind of uh, making the first move, so to speak, in order to get things done, in order to make things happen. Uh, this is not a card of relaxing and just watching things happen. No, Gemini, you are very proactive. You are out there networking. Maybe you're making full phone calls, maybe you're taking classes, you're really learning how to really kind of create the life that you want and that is going to bring the wealth to you that you are working towards. Now the next card is the Two of Swords and the Two of Swords talks about a decision. The thing is, the decision is something that you could be hesitating on, could be a decision that you're procrastinating on, could be something related to work, job, that's what I'm feeling for a majority of you. Um, you, you're feeling like either you need to leave your current employment or uh, something has to change within the capacity of what you're doing now. So maybe it's time to apply for a promotion or a raise. Uh, maybe it's time to transfer to a different department that you've always wanted to be in, but you've never quite, you know, been able to. Um, it looks like, you know, there's something there that you know you need to make the decision, but you're hesitating, okay? But you need to, you need to take that action. Uh, next, we have the Three of Wands. That is contemplation. Figuring out what we're going to do, what our next move is going to be. And now, that could be why you don't make a decision because you're kind of overwhelmed by all the options that are available. You know, should you stay at your job? Should you start a new business? Should you start investing? Should you increase what you're doing with your investments? Should you increase and scale your business? There's so many ways that you can make more money without necessarily having to work harder or work more. Uh, finally, we have the Page of Wands. That's that good news that I I tell you that I can feel that is definitely coming your way. Page of Wands means good news as it relates to your work. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean employment for those of you who do not, you know, work a traditional nine to five. Um, this is whatever you're doing to bring money in to support yourself, whether that be work, investments, business, fixed income, whatever. There's going to be some good news as it relates to that. Now, I know for those of us in the United States, there's a lot of talk about additional stimulus. Um, tax credits, all kinds of things. So who knows what's going to happen here, but it looks like we're going to get some clarity on that probably in the second week of July. Also, too, this just came to mind, too. I know um, for those of us who are, you know, business owners or entrepreneurs, there's lots of grants and programs uh, that are being rolled out too and so that could be some good news that's going to be relevant to a lot of you as well all right let's continue on gemini and see what else is showing up for you as it relates to money wealth finances prosperity and abundance for the month of july 2021 Wow. For the sign of Gemini. Okay. All right, Gemini. Uh, if you need clarity, you're definitely going to get it once we hit the second half of the month. Um, look at these power cards here. We also have a couple of repeaters. Temperance. Temperance, remember we saw her here. Uh, looks like by the time we hit the second half of July, you get things sorted out. Things come back into balance. Things are no longer all askew. Things are not all disrupted. Uh, looks like balance is really coming into play once we hit that third week of July. Next, we have the moon card. Now, the moon is the card talking about something is hidden. Uh, sometimes things are deliberately hidden from us. Uh, other times things are just hidden as a result of circumstances. The thing is, Gemini, what you want to do is really embrace the fact that you don't know what you don't know and you don't have all the information available to you. So you have to understand that you are working from a vantage point of not having all of the necessary information, especially anything related to money, anything related to work, anything related to business, investments, all of those things. Um, you really have to do the best with what you have and maybe take into account that there's more to learn, there's more yet to be discovered, more yet to be released uh, as it relates to information. Uh, the moon card is a card of caution because 
Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean something negative is going to happen. It just means that you don't have all the information yet, okay? But now the good thing is, is we have the Wheel of Fortune right after that, and the Magician, and the Three of Cups. These are very, very powerful, positive cards. The Wheel of Fortune talks about unexpected good luck. It talks about it talks about things really turning in your favor uh, very quickly and sometimes unexpectedly. Uh, it's also the card of serendipity, you know, meaning, you know, uh, random strokes of good luck, being in the right place at the right time. So I really want you to understand that just because you don't know everything, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are at a disadvantage. Next, we have the magician. The magician is the card of resources. It's the card of alchemy. It's taking what you have and literally manipulating things and creating what you want and what you desire and making it work for you making the situation and the circumstance and the reality work for you right uh, the other thing I'm getting with this card is that uh, for those of you who are uh, into the spiritual <laughs> quantum physics uh, there's a parallel reality here that you're you're choosing and sometimes we have to ignore what's in the 3D because we are focused on the 4D. And I know that may sound a little, you know, complicated for some of you. And if it doesn't resonate, I get it, I understand. But for those of you who do understand kind of where I'm going with this, um, I'm getting the sense here that you really need to pay attention to the 4D more so than the 3D reality because of what it is you're trying to create all right you're manipulating uh, energy and you are using that to your advantage and things do have to conform to the idea that you're putting out there so i just wanted to throw that out there because i am getting that picking that up very heavily um, intuitively for those of you who are kind of open to receiving that Next, we have the Three of Cups. That's the card of celebration. Uh, it also means, too, that uh, there could be somebody showing up that really uh, changes the game for you, so to speak. Could be a mentor, could be a partner, could be a coach, uh, could be, a, you know, a spouse. I don't know, but um, it could mean there is a third party getting involved, and it is very, very good. Uh, usually, sometimes we don't like third parties, but in this case, it looks like uh, you will be cele celebrating or there will be a third party coming into the picture and it's definitely going to be something very beneficial, especially as it relates to your money. Finally, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is a repeater card. Like I said, um, that disenchantment with what it is you're currently doing really, really starts to um, kind of eat away at you, Gemini. And so um, you're getting to the point now to where you know that you have to do something different. You have to make a change change you can't ignore it anymore um, you know again you know sometimes they say the most dangerous place to be is uh, comfortable because when you're comfortable you're not necessarily motivated to do something different and you're not feeling any pain to make a change so uh, just be aware of that because there's more money out there Gemini um, you're just gonna have to do something different to get it and it doesn't mean it's gonna be hard. It doesn't mean it's gonna be complicated. It just means you have to move in a different way. You're gonna to have to tap into a different energy, but when you do, I can clearly see that it will pay off. All right, so what else do we need to know? For the sign of Gemini, there it is, as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. So you do walk away from something, Gemini, by the time we hit the end of the month. Let me make sure, um, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm using a new camera, I don't know if you noticed, but um, I just wanna make sure everything is in frame. So as we close out the end of the month, Gemini, Look, you've got a brand new money opportunity here with this Ace of Pentacles. That's exciting. I hope you're ready for it. Uh, very, very good. Looks like you've got a new source of income coming your way. Could be from a job, could be from a side hustle, could be from a business, could be from an investment. The other thing about this card, um, I've said it before, uh, I do see this card a lot when um, 
it relates to cryptocurrency, when it relates to Bitcoin. Some of you are totally on board with this and I'm very excited with that. Um, some of you don't understand it and you're just getting started. So we can read this card two ways. It's the brand new start of a brand new source, a brand new stream of money coming your way. Uh, it could also mean that, uh, look, Bitcoin is literally coming at you. <laughs> so for those of you who are interested in Bitcoin, I encourage you to learn more about it. Uh, looks like by the time we hit the end of the month, there could be some things happening in the cryptocurrency market. It's very exciting. Uh, try not to get too caught up in the ups and downs. Just look at the long term and hold, hold, hold. Uh, next, we have the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords is self-limiting beliefs. This is something we all have to work on. This is not unique to you, Gemini. Uh, the Eight of Swords is sometimes feeling trapped and putting limitations on ourselves that really don't exist. Sometimes they're mental blocks. Sometimes they're bad habits. Uh, sometimes they're beliefs of what we think we can and cannot do. So make sure you pay attention to that and work on that, Gemini, because um, sometimes we can get in our own way. Next, we have the Ace of Cups. That tells me something starts, but it doesn't necessarily quite take off uh, like you had expected. Now, the Ace of Cups is a very passionate, emotion-filled card, right? So there's something uh, that wholeheartedly you feel, you feel is uh, right or is, you know, what you should be doing. But for some reason, it doesn't quite move at the pacing that you were expecting, or it just doesn't really pan out to what you thought, even though your whole heart was into it, your soul was into it. Um, I want you to understand that this is, from what I'm looking at and the cards that it's landed on and the cards that are around it, uh, this is not something that you have to really take too seriously, all right? There could be a hint of disappointment in there, but it's not anything long term or it's not anything um, that's going to, uh, you know, kind of damage your prospects and your future. You know, I'm not picking up the sense that this is something that's going to make you lose a ton of money. Uh, what I am picking up on is that this is something uh, that's going to probably be a little disappointing for you because you really had your heart set on it. And, um, but you know, sometimes things just don't work out and there's really nothing you can do other than accept it and keep moving. Next, we have the Eight of Cups. Looks like that's what you do. Uh, this is clearly walking away from something that uh, no longer serves you without hesitation, without doubt. Uh, you know it's time to move on and you don't waste any time doing so, Gemini. Now, this doesn't have to be something big. It could just mean, you know, letting go of a particular client maybe cutting off a subscription that you don't like. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be anything huge, right? Uh, finally, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is interesting because we've got eight, eight, eight. Three eights here. I have a feeling that number is significant for you for the month of July, Gemini. So if you are into numbers, um, I would pay attention to the number eight for this month because it looks like that's definitely... Um, a complex number for you for this month. But as we close out July, we have the Eight of Pentacles uh, that talks about work picking up. That means that uh, there is more money out there for you to make if you are ready to tap into it. It means that um, you're going to have lots of opportunities to either pick up more hours, get some overtime, maybe work an extra shift, maybe take on an extra client. Um, you know, there's, there's going to be an opportunity for you to make more money. The thing is, is do you really want to be that busy? I'm getting the sense that you don't because this card is in the reverse. Uh, but just know and understand that if you want to make money, the work is there and uh, it's going to be available. But I have a feeling that you're just not going to want to do it because you're not going to want to be that busy, right? We're in summer and uh, a lot of you are, you know, getting back to work, but it doesn't mean we want to stress ourselves out. So overall, Gemini, you've got a very, very good month. Uh, lots of opportunity coming your way. Uh, looks like additional streams of income are definitely going to start showing up for you. And um, it's just very exciting, you know. So like I said, I hope you're ready because things are definitely moving in your favor. All right, so let's go ahead and close out your reading with a new moon intention oracle card. This is from Sage Goddess. Uh, they're very, very beautiful cards, and I'm excited to be using them in the readings this month. 
And the card I got for you, Gemini, is card number 35, Happiness Shared. It says, I travel in gratitude for my soul family who shares the sacred work of this lifetime with me. The journey of my soul is better for the company of those who walk this path with me. And I work diligently to heal and improve my relationships with those I love. The stone for you is kunzite and the essential oil is frangi Penny. I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> pronouncing that correctly. Uh, if I am mispronouncing it, feel free to correct me. I am open to all correction. But there you go, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. We'll do it all again next month.